Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this morning, gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past, in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. <clears throat> As I was waking up this morning, kind of checking out my feed here, and I got this quick story from uh, this priest and Cuomo, who uh, has like a show on CNN. And it's just absolutely hilarious how these things, how this stuff is just playing out. He was uh, interviewing his family priest, and what I'll do is I'll leave the link to the video in the description box, it's only like a little 10 minute clip. But it's funny how, as things are now falling apart, they're trying to act like, uh, you know, where did this white Jesus come from? Like, they, they understand, they're admitting to the fact that white Jesus is the problem and for all these uh, ills of society. That people thinking that, um, you know, God is a white person sitting on the throne with a white beard um, has caused all these issues. But they fail to take the next step to say, well, who brought that garbage over here? It's kind of like when you walk in the house, well, you make a mess in the kitchen and then you leave the kitchen and you walk back in here and you say, oh, who made this mess? You made this mess. You don't get to and now you, and you don't get to be the person who gets to solve the problem after you've made the mess. I just want you to hear about a minute clip of this conversation. It's absolutely hilarious. How he's because it's going to be uh, the priest talking and kind of explaining why you know we're having this uh, social discord right now, and how that goes back to white Jesus. Yeah, we already know that's the problem. Yeah, you admit it doesn't fix the issue. Who brought that stuff over here when they came over here? Let me pull it up real quick. You guys are just going to listen real quick. For us to, to think about faith as an extension of what you're going to fight for and fight against. Edward, I lost you about 20 seconds um, after that. Let's say, well, let's say it again. Well, I don't remember where you lost me, though. I'll just, I'll tell you, just pick it. Just go for it. You only make like three points. Anyway. Go ahead. Pick well, I was saying that if, if we're created in the image of God, God has no sex, no gender, no color, no sexual orientation. It's universal love. So until we dispel this notion that God is a white man with a white beard sitting on a throne of judgment, that anyone who doesn't look like that is somehow less than God. And I think the hearts of men and women need to be... Okay, hold on. Let's make sure we listen to that part again. So we have to dispel this notion. Well, who brought that notion over here? Who's been pushing that notion that God is a white man through all these images all over the place, all over their buildings, all in their, in their churches? on their TV shows, on their movies. Anytime you see that picture, you know, that image of someone even that looks like, you know, the image that they've set up for Jesus, they always automatically call him like the son of God or whatever else. Let me just go back in. I want you to hear that again, because like I said, it's very important. They don't get to make the mess and then think that they're going to be the ones that are going to help clean it up. That's what they seem to think. They get, we're all just going to forget the fact that their churches, Christians and Catholics, have pushed white supremacy and white Jesus for hundreds of years. And now all of a sudden they're going to say, well, we just need to dispel this notion. Like, okay, well, hold on. Look at you. First of all, you guys are the ones who set all this stuff up and now you're going to act like it wasn't you. Just like all of a sudden, you, you know, you see in these images of all these uh, police officers taking a knee. Oh, it wasn't you. Hello. Aren't we actually um, protesting your guys' institutions and the way you've been treating us, but all of a sudden now, after a couple of days, you think you can just take a knee and now and now we're cool. We're gonna invite you to the barbecue. You can you guys can come over here and hang out with us now. Hell no. So send this one more time. Well then say it again. Well I don't remember where you lost me though. I'll just I'll tell you, just pick it. Just go for it. You only make like three points anyway. Go ahead. Well I was saying that if, if we're created in the image of God, God has no sex, no gender, no color, no sexual orientation. It's universal love. So until we dispel this notion that God is a white man with a white beard sitting on the throne of judgment, then anyone who doesn't look like that is somehow less than God. And I think the hearts of men and women need to be converted to really believe we're all the same and all equal and all have the, the 
same opportunities and should have the same opportunities and dignity and respect. And I just don't think we're there yet. I think we don't believe we're equal. We don't believe we're created equal. And I think until that happens, nothing's going to change. And I see my mission and the church's mission is to really reveal a God of love who says, yeah, I am for all of you and you are all the same. So, <laughs> there are so many things wrong with this this minute clip right here, but I'm just going to concentrate right now on, he, he says the mission of the church is to pretty much make everybody feel equal, but as soon as they got off the boat, they were, you know, I said they were destroying our people, stealing our land, enslaving our people, but now at the end, after the Most High, after Pentecost, after he's in the leash of spirit, after he's awakened his people, now all of a sudden the church's mission is to push equality. You see how ridiculous this is? That's, this is exactly why they seem to think that everything's still going to go through them. Even the fact that they think that we still need to go to their churches and go to them still is pushing white supremacy. They still think that whites here need to uh, be the ones um, at the head of the seat at the table, dictating. But this is why it's so important to know the truth. You know, the Most High had a chosen people. They do have a color. They do they do look a certain way. So, but see, now all of a sudden, it doesn't matter. Your color doesn't matter. Your sexual orientation doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Your men and women, it doesn't matter. You know, it, 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 like I guess it's universal love. But when they have the opportunity to treat us right, to tell the truth, even today, this guy says it, but, you know, many other people, they've had that, many of our own people, black and brown people, are still stuck in with the white supremacist, white Jesus. And they still believe that, you know, white people are superior. They, it's funny how he, he talks about how people set up this whole, this whole institution to make other people who weren't white lesser than. Well, that, that's your institution. That is the Christian and Catholic institution. So you don't get to destroy our people, tell us that we're lesser than for hundreds of years, treat us like crap, put us at the bottom, and then at the end, our hearts need to be converted and so we can believe that everybody's equal. You guys set this up. And now the Most High is going to tear everything that you've set up down. He's gonna, he's gonna tear it down. And But now you seem to think that, hey, who made that up? Who, who made up this white guy? Who, where does white guy come from? That's what this priest is acting like. You know where he came from. And when you guys were all enjoying the fruits, you know, of your society, he said you guys were all happy. Now all of a sudden, it's most like tearing it down. And now it's like, oh, well, who set this up? Who, who set up this institution? Who set up this white guy? Who is this, who's this white guy? That's not God. Well, you, yeah, we already know that. We don't need you to tell us. And many people say, well, we know that that's not Jesus. Yeah, but you still worship white supremacy. You're still supporting a system of white supremacy. And when they were enjoying, uh, when they had that all set up, you were happy to just listen to that garbage, follow along with that garbage, and there was no problem. But see, now the Most High is going to make you take do the same thing to the truth if you want to be saved. You're going to now have to worship the black Christ. You're now going to have to go 180 and accept the truth. Many of you will not be able to. Many of you will not want to because you're still stuck in white supremacy, which is fine. And like I said, then you'll, you'll, you'll get whatever the Most High gives you. Like I said, these, these priests, are speaking, and priests and pastors are speaking out of both sides of their mouth. They're saying that we're all equal. But then they'll say, hey, you guys need to calm down so we can go have a conversation. So we can still continue this white supremacist society. That's, what's, that's exactly what's been happening. Every time they kill us, then the priest, uh, pastors come out, hey, 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 calm down, calm down. We need to go and organize ourselves so we can go and vote and vote new people in. Well, the new people that get in continue with the white supremacist society because they're all part of it. Don't care if you have an R behind your name, a D. Don't care if you're white or black or brown, yellow. If you're down with that system, it doesn't matter what color you are. You're still down with white supremacy.
And this priest right here was talking out of both sides of his mouth. Yeah. Um, you know, what, God's not white. He's not some white guy sitting, you know, on a throne with a, with a white beard. But our, the church's mission is to go, is to, is to fix that. Double speak. Your institutions are the one to set it up. So it doesn't matter what you say. That's what we've been getting from these priests and pastors the whole time. Double speak. Tell you one thing, but then do something, you know, but still push white supremacy. Still push white Jesus. They're still pushing this. But see, all of a sudden now this priest doesn't know where this came from. Now, I don't know where this white guy came from. God's not white. Yeah, we know that. We don't need you to tell us that. But if things were actually going great, you wouldn't be hearing this. If COVID-19 hadn't destroyed the economy, the vast majority of the people that are out here um, protesting now wouldn't be out here. But see, like I said, their dainties are taken away. So now they're unhappy. So now they're looking for an outlet. So now they're going to jump on the bandwagon. Now all of a sudden, you know, yeah, I'm cracking up. I know Lisa just did a video or was going to about the, um, these cops now wanting to take a knee. Too late. Just stay on that side. You know, you guys are still brutalizing our people. Just many people are from, they are, uh, what is it? They're just peacefully protesting, just like last night in front of the White House. Those people were peacefully protesting and then they just got ran, ran the hell over by horses, by the police, tear gas, you know, smoke bombs. You know, I said, and in order to clear that area so that Trump could walk from the White House to that church and hold up his, his Bible. <laughs> and if you look the way he was holding it, uh, yeah, like, like that dude, that was, he was allergic to it. <laughs> Didn't know how to hold it. Look like, what the hell is this book? <laughs> Look at him right here. Like, what the, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? But see, they've been able to hold our book, put a white image up, and then we didn't even, we didn't care what they said. Hey, white guy, Bible, it's his. Let's listen to whatever he has to say. But see, now, you know, the Hebrews are coming up. The Hebrews are telling the truth, and now this book doesn't look doesn't look the same like it used to. They don't know they don't know what's in it. They don't realize it's our book. Just like that priest said, "Oh, it's every, it's a universal." No, it's not. Those scriptures all come from Hebrews. They were, you know, written by Hebrews, written to Hebrews. It was not a universal book. Maybe their religion of Catholicism is universal. But it was never universal. It was never for everyone to be equal. It was for, to put the white man on top, and that priest just admitted it. He admitted the effects of white Jesus, how it made white people feel like they were superior, and it made everybody else feel like they were inferior. That was the whole aim of all these churches, and he set up a, a couple of black churches, a couple of brown churches, so you can just have the a, a different face but pushing the exact same message white supremacy we're at the bottom and we need to have a conversation on their terms everything is on their terms they're going to dictate what we teach now that the hebrews are out here given the truth this is this is what most people are now looking at their bible like <laughs> the vast majority of the people in the in the world are looking at their bibles like this i didn't know that was in there i didn't know that was in there show me where that's in there my priest never told me that my pastor never told me that yep and that's why now the vast majority of the world is looking at their Bibles just like this. Like it's something alien to them that they've never seen before. Because they never had the true understanding that the Most Highest Chosen people are now bringing to the world. So, he like said, so that's why they're going to be saying what my, inher my father's inherited lies. In Jeremiah 16, when get all the Gentiles are going to come to the Most High saying, you know, our fathers have inherited lies. That's this right here. Now they're looking at the Bible like this. Like, damn, everything they told me was a lie. And Jesus isn't white? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? The most I've chosen people are people of color? What do, you, what, 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 what do you mean? Jesus was actually a black man? Oh, no. That's, that's not true. That's not in here. Yeah, it is. It's just your priests and your pastors haven't really taught you the Bible. But trust me, we will. We'll bring you the truth. 
so that the ones the Most High is going to open up their hearts are going to be the ones that are going to cleave to the Most High and the Most High's chosen people. The rest of you are still going to be looking at your Bibles like this. God, I, hold on, I've gone to church all my life and and I've been lied to? Yep, that's exactly what that's exactly what's been going on. And that's why they set up, you know, these churches so they can just skip everything they don't want. They you know everything they didn't want to listen to. They can just skip it and go to heaven. No laws, no statutes, no commandments. I don't care about the Most High's chosen people. Even though the Most High said, "I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee." We've been getting cursed. You guys have been killing us. You guys have not given us justice. You guys have ignored everything we've asked for. You've ignored our people. You've destroyed our people. You've lied about your history. You've lied about our history. You've stolen all of our resources. You've stolen our artifacts. You took all of our artifacts back over to your lands and act like you came up with them. But then you think you're all going to heaven. You think you're all going to get raptured away. You, you try to pull that, I'm, gonna, I'm under Psalms 91. I'm going to be that. I'm going to get that coverage from the Most High because I'm a Christian, because I said Jesus, or because I'm a Catholic. And now that you can't go back to church and you try to pull out your own Bible and try to start to read it, you got this look. Because it makes no sense. You're sitting here looking at your churches that are all closed, have no power, and still looking at your Bibles like this because it doesn't make any sense. Yes, because you've been taught a religion that was like this. I don't have, I can do Easter. I can do Christmas. I can do Fourth of You Lied. I can do Valentine's Day, New Year's in January. Everything, you know, I call my, my priest, father. Anything that the Most High said not to do, you do. And you still thought you were going to get into heaven like that. Now, all of a sudden, the Most High is <clears throat> now calling you guys, coming into your spirits, telling you the truth talking to you, pricking your spirit. Because you're realizing that all that stuff that these men have been telling you have been a bunch of lies. This is what white supremacy looks like. It's like she was able to just, just make an accusation. And she knew it. So, so don't play the dumb role. She knew that she called and said that an African-American man is assaulting me, that that can get him killed. And don't, don't try to play the I'm sorry at the end. That's how you get caught. So that's what's happening right now. People are getting caught in their bullshit. I mean, they're in their BS. Sorry. <laughs> they're getting caught in their BS. And now it's like, oh, well, yeah, uh, there's a problem. I you know, why Jesus is oh, you're setting, setting up, where does why Jesus come from? That's just screwed up all everything. Yeah, we know. You're not telling us anything we need to you know that we didn't know already. I need a white man to tell me that. All praise is to the most high, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.